strong. What we're going to do today is compare two paint strippers. One is the citrus strip, and we're going to put it on the CUDA back fender panel here. The other is Back to Nature Aqua Strip, which is really a, a boat stripper, but also used on Corvettes that have fiberglass. So we're gonna compare these two and see which one is worth the time and money. So stay tuned. First thing I'm gonna do is just give this panel a scuff with some 180 grit sandpaper. This will give it a little bit of a tooth for the stripper to work. All right, I've downgraded to some 80 to give a better bite into this paint. Don't want to take a lot of time on doing this, but just enough to scuff the surface. See, there's some good scoring. All right, so I'm going to pour some of the citrus strip on here. There's two keys to using this that seem to yield better results. One is that you use enough of this stuff. And two, it needs to be warm enough. I find this stuff works best between 75 and 85 degrees in indirect sunlight. So we're gonna spread this around. Evaluate it whether we have enough or not. I'm barely just letting the brush touch the stripping solution. I don't want it in the brush, I want it on the car. The more you use, the easier it is to strip. And I'm pretty sure the paint job underneath is an original paint job from 1970, plus a repaint. So we're looking at a primer, the original paint coat, a base coat on top of that, and then a clear coat. So we're looking to remove, what's that, four, four layers? Now I found that if you're in a hurry, this is not the stuff you want because I usually will give it 24, sometimes even 48 hours. And like I said, the key is the ambient temperature that you're putting this on.
and it's thin enough that I can use a brush to put it on. You'll see with the other stuff, I have to use a putty knife to put it on. But my understanding is that this is not safe for fiberglass, so don't use this on a Corvette. Now when I'm done, I put it in this bag, zip it, you can see it keeps it airtight and brush never dries out. So we can reuse that. Now I'm gonna to go to the other side. On this side, I've used the Aqua Strip paint and varnish remover. And it took a little while to put it on so I saved you the time of recording all that, but I basically had to put it on with this, a putty knife. It's too thick to use with a brush. Although I may take a brush just to kind of even it out, but putting it on with a brush is pretty difficult. Again, the key to success on this is the amount you use. Can't be stingy with it. And the ambient temperature when it, when it's put on. So it's put on the same temperature as the other side because I'm doing it the same day. So we'll let this sit 24 hours. And then we'll see and compare the results. See which is better for your money. Again, this is a stripper that takes time to work, unlike the aircraft stripper that's popular for stripping car paint. This usually takes about 24, up to 48 hours. But you want to make sure that you don't let this the solution actually dry. You want it still wet when you remove it. But it does take a long time to dry out. All right, we'll be back soon and we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's been a little bit over 24 hours and I'm gonna to have to do this inside the garage today because it's a rainy day. And we're going to see the effect of the marine stripper. Which actually looks pretty good. Again, this is going through four layers of paint. This has been on for 24, 25 hours, roughly 75 degrees. And it has done a very good job. Almost made it down to the primer. It's made it down to the primer in some spots. This is the preferred stripper for Corvettes because it's fiberglass safe. Technically sold for stripping paint off of boats. As you can see, it's done a pretty good job. So, I'll just work a little bit more on it. And then we'll go over to the citrus strip side and we'll see how that fared. Okay. 
Okay, so I've done more extensive removal with a artist palette knife on the left, and I've also been using, as you saw, the uh, putty knife too. So it did a very, very good job. Now I've used this stuff in the springtime here in Connecticut when the ambient temperature was on the cooler side and it didn't do as good of a job. So it seems that the usage temperature in the 70s and lower 80s is really the key to making this stuff work really good. And make sure you don't leave it or, or apply it in direct sunlight so it dries out. Because you still want it in the liquid form, in the gelatinous form, I guess, when you remove it. So, did a great job. I mean, I could really get in there and scrape away right down to the metal, but I'm very happy with the results. And this is with the uh, Back to Nature Aqua Strip paint and varnish remover, safe for fiberglass. All right, we'll move on to the other side to the citrus strip and we'll see how that does. All right, so we're on the citrus strip side. Let's see how it goes. Well, looks like the citrus strip didn't make it down as far. Seems like it only made it down to the primer level. Some parts of it seem to have dried. Yeah. I didn't want that to happen. I'm gonna strip more. Get that off my tail light before that becomes a problem. As you can see, it's a little tougher to remove. Okay, so this is the citrus strip side. You can see it did a very good job after I spent about five to ten minutes doing some detailed scraping but it seemed to not get down to the uh, original primer that was put on the car 53 years ago so this is the citrus strip Again, I was using the artist palette knife. Has a nice thin blade. And the putty knife under there. But I'm calling it for the winner to be the aqua strip. It seemed to come off easier seemed to take more off and doing the subsequent scraping was easier <clears throat> it also has the advantage of being able to be safely applied on fiberglass and it also has the advantage of clinging better to vertical surfaces whereas the citrus strip It'll cling, but most of it drools down. 
because it's a lot more syrupy in consistency. So there you have it. I would say that's the winner. But they're pretty close. Citra the citra strip smells better. That's about it. But I think the aqua strip works better. Thanks for watching. And I hope this helps with your restoration projects. Strong. Strong.